No, I already had enough. Scene!
now we're taking that file. Just can't stop, can you? There we go. Okay, so I am going to start spinach, basil, and thyme. And then I also do want to just try these apple seeds. I have no idea if it will work or not, but I'm just going to try it. Oh my 
my gosh, it's so cold though. It's not warm out. It's okay if I spill. I'll swipe it up. That's what's so nice about doing it out in the greenhouse. You can make a big mess. It's okay. Okay, so I use peat moss for my starters. The thing about peat moss is it's just so dry. So I like to kind of pre-moisten it before I put my seeds in. So it makes a big mess and it all runs down onto the ground, but I figured better do it out here than in the house. start with spinach. Seeds look like that. Next I'm going to do basil. It's basil seed. Now that the seeds are in there, I don't want to completely flood them. So I put my finger over the tip. I do kale. Kale looks like that. So I started my seeds last week, and I already have some lettuce poking up, which is just so exciting. I can't believe how excited I get when I see a little green thing poking out of the dirt. It's just awesome. Water. And I am going to plant thyme in these three. Thyme is an awesome herb and it comes back every year to perennial. And I've had mine come back in the garden, but for some reason every year it's just a little smaller and a little smaller and a little smaller. So it's time to plant more. Oh, the seeds are so little. I'm actually just going to use them all up. Look at how little baby tiny those seeds are. Okay. Just going to sprinkle them around, I guess. Dusting. That's probably good. Time. And there we go. One whole container started, and that didn't take hardly any time. Okay, so I'm going to plant apple seeds. I've never done this ever. Um, I actually saved some seeds from a, an apple. We'll see if they sprout. <laughs> These seeds are special to me because every year for my birthday, we go to Apple Fest, which is in Bayfield. It's only like an hour away. It would be so awesome if these actually sprouted and we could have apple trees right in the yard from the apples from Bayfield. It would just be so awesome. Anyways, these ones are Cortland apples. So what the heck, I'm just gonna try it. That's what they look like. You can see there's some damaged ones. But you can see some are still okay. Gosh, it would be so awesome to have apple trees. There we go. Crossing my fingers that this works. Oh, look at that. That works perfect. I'm just setting them in here so that way they don't leak all over the table in the house. There we go. Voila! And that's it. I'm done. And go to whichever one you're equipping and hit 
triangle. And then, yeah. You know how you can like customize them? If you go to taunts and just. chain off.
It's good enough for that part of the trail. Here's why I'm out here doing it now, trimming the trails. Is because now there's not a bunch of leaves on it, stuff like that, which just makes it more difficult to move stuff around. And uh, it's just a cleaner, cleaner and easier time to do it when there's no leaves on the trees yet. Anyways, this part of the trail's done. So we want to head back to the house. Go eat some food. Catch you later. Big day, we're gonna add a new member to the fam. We're getting a little puppy, yep. a little basset hound. And uh, we got a few hour drive to go get him. He's in Brainerd, so. Taking a little trip, we're excited though. You're Can't wait to get him. Excited. They all are. Well, they're about to meet their new friend. Yep. Or enemy, whichever way that goes. <laughs> I'll get the dog. Oh, will you? I'll get the little dog. Ooh, it's chilly. Hi, Oli. Meet Oli. Nope. Holy man, is that thing 
cute. Yes, he is so cute. He is little, littler than a chicken. Did you break it? No. Chickens are looking at him. I know, this is gonna be interesting. Uh-oh. Big Mama is way bigger than Oli. What's going on, Oli? Hi, sweetie. Hi. He has a bump on his head. Hi. You want me to pick you up? Where did this boy go? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that chicken didn't realize that you had a dog in front of you until it got really close. Hi, sweetie. Yeah, this man's even like, oh boy, what is that? Is that a new chicken knife? Mom, did you grab the toy? Yeah, it's right here. Okay, here you go. Oh, you're such a little cutie. Oh, you're such a little cutie. That's how you play with them, Liam. You don't have to be that delicate with them. You can, you know, push them around a little bit. They don't mind. He's just liking it. He's in the grass and yeah, he's like around. He likes to get a little dirt on him. <laughs> this man, Big Mama tried to investigate him. You investigated him? Yeah, but Big yeah, Mama scared him. She did. <laughs> she did. She ran away. Man. I can't even catch him. He's got a lot of, he's gonna sleep really good tonight. Mm. Oh, here, get up here. Come on, you got it. Oh, oh, oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Oli, you gotta try to make it up here. It's like a challenge. Come on. Is it sucking? Oh, you got it. Jump over here. There you go. Gotta get, yeah, there you go. Woo! <laughs> I made him do an obstacle. Oh, look at him. Oh, come on in. Oh, no. Now he's got bark. Oh, he's going to bring it Just in. Just let him bring it bark. Come on, Oli. You want to come in the house? Come on, Oli. Go on. Come on. Go in the house. Open the door for me. Oh, in here. I noticed. Here's the water. Thank you. Come here, Ollie. Eat his ear, Rick. I had a fucking long time. Holy moly. Hey, cutie. <laughs>